it! How's our heading? Oh, this is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. Huh? Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're ordering me to answer? <sighs> right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Cannon fire astern! Pirates! That flag! It's got to be Ifrit's pirate crew! They've got a feed on us, folks! And in case you hadn't noticed, we aren't really equipped for sea combat! <sighs> To land, then! We can fight them there! Huh! Well, look at that! They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword. Twin blades. No pendulum that I can see. No escape! Let's go! No escape! Hurricane! Hurricane! You passed the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral, if you like. So what? We're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate! Y you can't go alone! We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia.
And what are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? If the first mate says he'll do it, he'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? The pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough! If forward lies destruction, and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option! And yet, you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't! That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? Hmm. We both have ulterior motives. In any case, let's go after him. So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort costs the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails, I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. This cave leads to the fortress. The kid's awfully quiet. Can you think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing, then. Not even remotely! Uh... You all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead! Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? Ah, I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malachim have individual personalities, just like humans. 
But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malakim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> you said exorcists bind Malakim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malakim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malakim aren't mere objects. Malakim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Artorius is concerned, Malakim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. That's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakim. So I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? <sighs> There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it? They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier? All part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. Is that the way in? This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Stop. Those guards are... Careful. They're not what they seem. Take that! Devour! They've transformed into demons! What kind of curse is this, Aizen? I warned you. You wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. <sighs> in that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find. Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. <laughs> <laughs>